Hello Leo, welcome to a bonus love reading for late February, March 2021. Uh, we're going to be looking at what is coming towards you in love. As always, it's a general love reading, so it will not and cannot resonate for every uh, Leo watching. I was going to say Scorpio for a second there. Um, so don't try to make this fit if it's not your story. If it's not, just check out my playlist for Leo. I'll have it linked in the cards and... Um, you can also get to it by clicking on my username here and um, clicking on the playlist tab or I have it all my playlists in the home page and I have a playlist for Leo. Okay, let's jump in. For Leo Spirit. Messages for Leo. Late February, early March 2021. In love. What does Leo need to know, Spirit? Any messages for Leos? Regarding love and relationships. For Leo, please. It is safe for you to love, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. What else? Oh, that one flew out. Oh, okay. We got soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. And I want to get one from my Stellar Energy deck. Uh, this is linked down below if you're curious. Can you get one more, please, for Leo? What's the energy surrounding Leo and love? For Leo, please. Poetic justice. Fairness, balance, karma. You will have justice and balance will be restored. Okay. And this will be regarding a soulmate, it seems like. Bottom of the deck, I have cold shoulder. Silence, distance, coldness, someone's feeling shut out. So it could be that you're not with this person or there is some sort of distance between you, emotional distance. Um, this could also be... That maybe one of you feels shut out, like you were shut out of this connection, ghosted, left on red, whatever the case may be. We'll see in the tarot. So this is a very unique deck. I just got it today. It's the vice versa tarot. So every single card in this deck has a front and a back design. And of course I do reversals on my channel. So this is going to be kind of a mess. <laughs> because I've shuffled it, you know, like I like to shuffle it all over the place. I flipped some in the back. So let's see how this goes for Leo Spirit. Messages for Leo. It's a gorgeous deck though, I can't wait. For Leo, what messages do you have for my Leos? Okay, we got the Three of Wands. Waiting with expectation here. And the Ace of Wands reversed. So something hasn't happened yet. Three. No, that's the Empress reversed. Yep, Empress reverse. Another three, though. Bottom of the deck, I have the Eight of Swords upright. And behind that, the Tower. So, yes, yeah, so this kind of is making sense. I feel like there's something that hasn't manifested, hasn't grown, um, and a tower moment that has happened in this connection. Either it already happened or it's possibly going to happen. Um, and the tower is something unexpected. Um, but I feel like someone's stuck somewhere, either overthinking or feeling like there there's no way out of a situation um shackled by fear and so the tower i feel is going to help with this so let's see let's get some more information why is the three of wands here okay we got the knight of wands yeah the knight of wands reversed why is the three of wands here oh i got two ace of swords and the wheel of fortune reversed interesting i feel like communication has to take place here but with the knight of wands reverse and the wheel of fortune reverse 
again, I get the sense that something hasn't happened yet. Like the wheel hasn't turned or the new beginning hasn't happened. There's clarity though with the Ace of Swords. So even though something hasn't officially, like there's no action or perhaps there was someone that, you know, caused a pause or caused something, like maybe something happened between you because Poetic Justice is here to right the ship, to balance things out. Whatever this was, I feel like it put like a stop to this connection. Someone could have been in and out or wasn't really dependable or reliable, might have been e even uh, infidelity here. This is someone you can't count on, the Knight of Wands reverse. It could also mean no action, um, but there's clarity, there's communication. Um, with the Ace of Swords, it's almost like there's a breakthrough happening here. So either, you know, what I'm picturing is like someone's waiting to communicate or someone has been waiting to have some sort of new beginning based on the truth of something or a breakthrough in a connection. But again, I just get the sense that with the Three of Wands here and all these other cards reverse, yeah, and there's the world here. So see what I mean? This is a beautiful deck. Um, so this is the world, it's upright, um, and what I'm getting is like, there's like a new beginning here that could take place. There's possibly a chapter that needs to close for another one to open. There could be somebody that wants a new beginning here based off of, of truth, clarity, and this is what they're waiting for. Actually, that was the bottom of the deck, but I want to take it, I want to leave it there. Tell me about the Ace of Wands reverse. I feel like there's a delayed new beginning, or perhaps... Something hasn't officially taken off here or didn't have the chance to take off. Oh, we got the Page of Cups. So this could be somebody apologizing. Yeah, and there's the Six of Pentacles. And the Ace of Cups. My goodness. Yeah, I feel like this is someone that wants to balance things out. Um, and it, it could even be doing this with an apology. Tell me more about the Ace of wands reverse okay we got the knight of cups yes this is somebody and look both of these are like the shadow sides or like the backs of these cards actually no not this one but this one is so see how they, they have like kind of like the shadow side and then like the light so this one's upright and this is the back so it's almost like like someone really has something to say to me they kind of marry each other these two but yeah, this is definitely a message here. Communication with these three. And I have a feeling it's an apology. Yeah, look at this. Eight of Wands. And again, it's the shadow side one. Or like the back of the card. Um, and again, look, there's like a lightning storm. So it's almost like there's communication and it might be connected to a tower moment. I have the five of pentacles reversed at the bottom here. So someone wanting to come in out of the cold. Yeah, this is this is a pretty simple reading, I think. Why is the Empress reverse? Why is the Empress reverse? The Sun? Why is the Empress reverse? Okay, we got the Seven of Wands. Defense. Resistance. Challenges. Oppositions. I feel like this is someone that wants to fight for their own happiness or perhaps they've gotten clarity here. Tell me more about the sun. Why is the sun here? Nine of swords reverse. So something's no longer affecting someone. There's no longer any fear, anxiety. Yeah, two of cups. Look at this. Beautiful. I love this deck. Look at this two of cups i hope you get that it's nice and clear um anyways so yeah well, this is what i'm getting i'm getting someone here is no longer and they have the nine of pentacles at the bottom of the deck here and the emperor is i think this is the emperor no this is justice justice behind that and justice is upright it's just the back of justice so this is justice in the front so this is the back of justice that's why this deck is kind of confusing but i love it it's so interesting so again, this Poetic Justice card, um, this Nine of Pentacles, I feel like this is someone that 
uh, wants to make something right with a an empress like energy someone that they admire value someone that does very well for themselves with the nine of pentacles tell me about the seven of wands Ten of Wands. Yeah, there's resistance here. And I feel like there's possibly a burden in, on this connection. Maybe what has happened between you. Okay, here we have the Knight of Swords reverse. So there could have been um, things unsaid or possibly things that weren't, maybe the communication wasn't very good. Arguments, conflict, deception. I feel like this has put a weight on this connection. Have the devil at the bottom of the deck here so I, I think it became unhealthy either this person that you're dealing with um, the situation was unhealthy with them or there is um some sort of a baggage or burden that has become unhealthy a drag on this connection capricorn energy with the devil Let me get one more for this Eight of Wands. I feel like communication is coming in. I have three cards here about communication. <laughs> then I have the Two of Cups, the World, Ace of Swords. I mean, this, this is pretty clear here. Tell me more about this Eight of Wands. Yeah, look at this, the Three of Cups. So, and then bottom of the deck, I have Judgment. So this is the back of Judgment. And so this is all about second chances, reunions coming together here with the three of cups celebrating um but i find it very fascinating that um this three of cups reminds me of the star aquarius energy right especially because she's holding a cup but it's not the three of cups um so yeah and then behind that i have the magician so this is someone manifesting this is a very clear reading this is someone manifesting a second chance with you um wanting a new beginning with you um Let's get some guidance oracles here. I'm using my stellar guidance deck. Spare any guidance for Leo. Any guidance or messages for Leo? Any guidance or messages for Leo? Anyway, out. Oh, I've cut off here, but the reason I thought of the star is healing, hope. Any messages for Leo? A cycle is ending. That's that world energy. Can I get one more? For Leo. These two. Your wish will be granted. I keep getting this card. Winter. Interesting. So something could be coming your way uh, winter, but I also think I thought of this cold shoulder card. Uh, bottom of the deck divine timing so yes this whole feeling of waiting of maybe things not working out the wheel of fortune being reversed it's because things are unfolding as they should in the time that they should a cycle needs to end first but i feel like it's going to be in your favor with poetic justice with your wish will be granted and it is safe for you to love so this is for those of you who you will want to have a second chance with this person or this person is someone that is possibly a soulmate with the two of cups and you feel safe enough to be with them. That's not going to be all of you because I know Leos have been dealing with some really shifty pe people, but some of you, I feel this is definitely for you. All right. So I'll leave it there, Leo. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this resonated for you. If it did, leave me a comment. Let me know. Hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy these readings. If you want to know any of the decks that I use, they're all linked in the description box. And I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.